Yeah, hello, Brandon here at Honest Goodness Appliance here with an in-home video of a uh, Maytag washer that's having some issues. Um, and we're going to go through some diagnostics here. I'll show you how to get into it. So here is the washer. To get into diagnostics on this model, you're going to take, I like to use these three buttons, um, but you can use buttons over here as well. And we're just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is diagnostic mode, and once you're in diagnostic mode, the first button that you pushed is going to be a UI test. Okay, so we can just go ahead and do that first. So this is going to be your UI test. It's going to test every single button. And you'll hear a ding, and then the lights will go off if the buttons are responding to the main control. And then on your dial, you can see the lights go off and power so that all tested good and it's out of diagnostic mode so we're going to go back into diagnostic mode okay now if you hit if you had any error codes coming up here you would scroll through your error codes by hitting the third button I've already cleared the error codes. In order to clear the error codes, you press and hold this button here for three seconds or five seconds until they all go away and then you clear the error codes. Um, we did have an error code for a, a rotor error code um, and so we have an issue with the motor uh, not turning the basket. So to get into a step-by-step -step diagnostics and test each function of the unit, you're going to press the second button that you press to get into diagnostics. Okay, you're going to wait for it. Now, when this comes up, the zeros, this is going to be your lid lock. So you can hear the lid lock. So that's working just fine. Okay, if you scroll clockwise on the dial, sometimes it's a little goofy. Um, this is going to be testing your water valve for your cold side. So that's working just fine. I'm going to pause that. This is going to be your hot valve, and that's working just fine. Now some of these you don't want to press because it will, uh, it's only for factory, okay? So some of them you don't want to press. Um, the ones that I like to do are hot and cold, your drain pump, your spin and agitation. Um, that's pretty much all the ones I like to do. Eight is going to be your drain pump. <laughs> That's working just fine. Okay, now in order to get the motor to rotate in diagnostic mode, we do need to have that lid locked. So we're going to go ahead and lock the lid. Okay, and we can test agitation. It's going to be uh, uh, number 13. It's going to be um, your agitation for your low agitation. And once we press that, you, it's hard to see in there, but it is agitating, so we can pause. Now, if we're going to go into a spin speed, we can go back to 12, 11, and 10. So 12 is going to be high, medium, and low spin speed. So we can just do 12. And this is where we're going to have the issue here. So you hear that noise. The whole basket's supposed to be turning, but it's only the agitator that's turning. So we're going to pause that there. So now what we have to do is we're just going to get out of diagnostics, and we are going to basically lift this whole thing back up and get underneath, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we pulled the unit out away from the wall, and we tilted it back. So now we have access to underneath the washer. Okay, and what we got to do is we have to pull this off here. This is the rotor, okay, and you're going to need a T30 um, Torx bit to get this uh, bolt off here. And that'll come out, and this is a magnet, so it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, it could get a little stuck sometimes to get this guy off, but you just wiggle it off. And... Then we have to do some inspecting. So, on the rotor, it has these little plastic gears. And as you can see here, these are all tore up. 
okay these are these are bad these are all worn down that's why the basket's not spinning so we need to replace this rotor here and we also if you can look here this white thing here this is called the slider and that is all busted off too so it's not making a good contact you see all these little metal shavings the slider has this little metal here because you have a magnetic clutch that's supposed to lock it down here and engage and that's not working properly so we got to replace this slider here as well as this rotor and I will show you what that looks like we got to get these off these are seven millimeter okay and your whole stator and clutch will come down and then you have this clip here this little metal ring that we have to take off okay okay so just use a seven millimeter nut driver and we're going to take all of these screws out here like that and this is the piece that we got to get off here so it's got this little clip so I like this to use a flat head if I can get in here and start here That's, this here is your gear case so once you drop your clutch and stator down and take your slider off we got the new slider here we're going to put on place got your spring here and you have your clip There's a little groove here. You just work it around. That's nice and tight into place there. Now, we'll just get our clutch and our place here Our new rotor and put that in place. So we got our rotor. We're just gonna pop this guy in place here. Comes with a new screw, a new bolt. Back to diagnostics and test it out. Okay, so we're back here in diagnostic mode and we're gonna press the middle button and we're gonna hit the lid lock. Now we're gonna go back to our spin 
and see what happens. So it should engage. There it goes. And now we're spinning. So now we know that that works. We don't have to see it go all the way up. We can pause it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to calibrate it. So every time you replace any kind of motor parts or control parts, you're going to want to calibrate the unit. So we're going to get out of diagnostic mode, go back into diagnostic mode. Okay. Wait for all the lights to clear. Go back into the service test mode. And we're going to go to 52. So you can just go counterclockwise a couple clicks. 52. Hit start. And this is going to run the calibration. And after this, we'll be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like for more videos.